Big Jason, Pete, Hollis Farms this morning. <clears throat> we got about an hour, I guess about an hour for a good daylight. I decided to load the old Raven crossbow up this morning. And I really don't have a plan. I usually do when I'm going hunting, but I don't this morning. I'm gonna find somewhere. I think I'm just gonna go sit on the ground in my little chair and just try to get a spot where we can get some pretty good cover but we can sleep pretty good and just kind of sit for a little while and see what happens. I gotta finish this fertilizing but I wanted to uh, come down here and maybe we can see a few deer or possibly I would love to shoot a hog with this crossbow this morning but we just have to see what happens but that's the plan to go find somewhere to sit down, see if we can get into a little action. All right, I forgot, almost forgot to tell y'all we had a uh, little bit of hog action last night, and late yesterday afternoon. Oh, uh, we have done got down to where the trap is, where we've caught a few. Oh, uh, we have got down to some smart hogs. Oh. Uh, some, one of them come in, I think one of them come in early yesterday, pretty early yesterday afternoon before dark, if I remember right. And then just before I went to bed last night, two came in, and boy, they they want to go under there, but boy, these, well, he's fooling with some smart hogs. If y'all, I'm going to show y'all this video while I ease on in here, but people just don't realize how smart these things are. I mean, this one hog is... It's a pretty good hog. He comes in there and he's sniffing the trap around. I mean, some of them are just gonna be tough. And I knew that was what we was gonna get into because see, the, these are some of the hardest running hogs that I've ever fooled with with dogs. So I knew the trapping wasn't gonna be a whole lot easier. But it, it's like I said, and I'll tell you, all heard me say this several times, we don't have just a ton of them. But we got a lot of big hogs, and boy, they make a mess. But I did find a spot that when I was fertilizing yesterday where they're rooting pretty bad. And if I get time today, I've got to move. I think I'm going to move the panel trap over there and uh, see if we can't catch them. But they, uh, they're getting tough. But we knew that was going to happen. But as these acorns go away and they get hungrier, these came in there around the feeder, I don't know, it was about 9 o'clock or so last night, and there wasn't any corn around the feeder. The only corn that was there was under the trap. We'll get them eventually. It's just, it's going to take a lot of patience to catch these hogs that we fool them with, but we'll get them. But I'm going to let y'all watch that footage while we ease on in here and get set up. And we are deer hunting slash hog hunting or something this morning.
Hey, right, y'all didn't stay in the woods just too long this morning. Oh, um, got uh, quite a few things we got to do. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, man, Pete finna eat this honey bun and drink a little water, and then I'm gonna finish up the fertilizing here today. And then I'll, I won't get it all back to uh, Alabama today, but I'm gonna get to, what my plan is to get the fertilizing done and uh, move the big pig panel trap. When I was fertilizing yesterday, I found some hog rooting in one of the fields. They are making a mess. So we're gonna move that over there. Uh, the hunt this morning, I saw a pretty nice buck through the pine sitting on the ground. It's kind of tough and in pine thickets can't see. Um, didn't even get to look at him with my binoculars nor get the camera on him but then uh that one little buck came in there that was pretty fun that was worth getting up for but it's gonna get a little better just kind of move around and look and just kind of see what's going on but we finna work on this honey bun and then we are going to get to work all right y'all we loaded up get it in it's still cool this morning i got my jacket and my hoodie gloves on if we can't get this done, I'm ready to move this hog trap. It's probably a little bit harder for them to go in. But since we caught them up here in it, I hadn't seen anything around it but rabbits and a couple of deer. Oh, so I'm hoping where we move it to, where we got this fresh root, that we can catch pretty quick in it. It looks like it might be a pretty fair sized group of them. We're gonna try it and see. Ain't doing no good where it's sitting.
take a couple of days, but I believe we're going to do some good here. That root was, there's a little bit of root in the root that was fresh yesterday. They're going to get curious. They haul where they're going to want that corn, I hope. All right, y'all. Hadn't been just a whole lot going on this evening. Running over here to uh, water the mules and horses. I'm going to call it a day. If y'all like our stuff, subscribe to us, Hollis Farms. Hats, t-shirts, and stickers, hollisfarms.com. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.